The manipulation of human beings in order to gather information is a process much used by both military intelligence and magicians. I'm on my way to meet a man whose lifetime experience has combined these two worlds in a totally unique way. Today, Drew McAdam is a mentalist, performing feats of prediction and mind magic. But his act is based on very real psychological skills that he developed as a military interrogator. So, Drew, you began your career as a, a military interrogator, as far as you're allowed to. Could you tell me about that? Yeah, sure. It's um, an intelligence officer, so this was with right. the, the British Army. If you mention interrogation to most people, what they think of is black hoods and white noise, stress positions. In actual fact, there are much more subtle ways of getting the information you need, and that really interested me. What is it that lies at the heart of a, a successful interrogation? Deception. I am convincing the person on the other side of the table that I know more than I actually do. Right. And that is deceit. You sit them down and say, look, um, you're only here to verify everything that we already know. We know everything. We even know the colour of your commanding officer's carpet in his office. It's blue, isn't it? And he's sitting there thinking, well, what is the point of me spending hours here when they even know that? Right. So one tiny piece of information can, carries a lot more value than you think it would. So you're deceiving them into thinking that you know more than you actually do. And the, the, the end result of that is you get everything that you need. And how exactly is it that you employ the techniques that you took from your time in the military intelligence to your work today? When I'm on stage, I am having to lie barefaced to the audience without giving any flicker, but also getting information from them without them being aware that I'm getting that information, then repackaging it and giving it back. So it's the, 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 exactly the same thing, it's just... Same techniques. Used to entertain and not save the world. Exactly. And to witness Drew's lie detection skills in action, I've lined up some suspects for interrogation. I am DMC, and I'm here today with Drew McAdam. Drew spent many years in the intelligence corps with a specialty in interrogation. For now, could you just double check there's no mirrors, there's nothing there feeding us information? Happy? Okay. In a moment, we're gonna give you each a, a piece of card and a pen, and I want you to write on that card a first name. Now, nobody too obvious, nobody too close to you, perhaps not an immediate family member, but a friend, an old friend, somebody that you know we couldn't possibly know. There's a pen for you. Pen for you. Thank you. Pen for you. Board, the board, and the board. If you can pick up the boards and write the name that was in your mind that DMC asked you to think of. Now, once you've finished that, put the tops back on the pens. But you've written it hidden at all times. And keeping them hidden, pass the boards up to this end. Gentlemen here. You now have all the boards. Can you give them a good mix for me, please? So now we don't know who has written what. Thank you. In a moment, I'm going to pick up a board. I will show you the name that's on that board and I will ask you, is this a person you know? Whether it is or not, you just say no. That's the operative answer is no, which means that one of you is lying. My job is to work out which one of you is lying. So the first name we have is Danielle. Is this the person you're thinking of? No. Is this the person you're thinking of? No. Is this the person you're thinking of? No. One more time, is this the person you're thinking of? No. Is this the person you're thinking of? No. Is this the person you're thinking of? No. Often what happens is when somebody is lying, they have heard that it's impossible to look somebody in the eye while they are lying. And what they do is they overcompensate, and only one person held my eye gaze throughout that. And that person is you. That is the person well you know, done. isn't it? Yeah. This time, the person that we're looking at is Aryan. 
Let's try something slightly different. I need to be able to hear you properly. Would you please say in turn, I do not know this person. I do not know this person. I do not know this person. Just one more time. I do not know this person. I do not know this person. There was a change in the voice from the first time. Um, we also got a slight frown. Uh, this is exactly what Bill Clinton did when he said, I did not have a sexual relationship with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. And it's exactly what you just did. <laughs> wow. You've probably worked out how it's possible by reading people's body language, micro-expressions, non-verbal cues, to tell when they are lying. It's lie detection. DMC, being a magician, uses a different technique. Okay, so there's no prizes for guessing, obviously, who wrote the third name. But I'd now like to try this without asking questions, without even looking at the name that you wrote. Okay? So all I want you to do is to hold in your mind whatever that name is. Okay? See that name in your head. And as you see that name, imagine a television screen and you're projecting those letters, whatever those letters are, onto that screen. You see that? And as you see those letters, allow them to come out of the screen. Imagine them growing towards you, growing in size. Would you please turn that over? Is that ye? How do you say that? Yannick. Yannick. Oh. It's amazing. Press it. How do you do that? Very uncommon name that uh, that I picked, and uh, the exact spelling. It would be almost impossible to to guess. And uh, wow, I was like, it was outstanding. <laughs>